Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. If you're new to cryptocurrency and want to learn more, hit that bell button, hit that subscribe button, select all. Comment, like, all that good stuff. It's awesome that you're here and coming back all the time. It's lovely. Now, Pundi X, why are we talking about that today? How many do you need to become a millionaire? Now that is not clickbait. I'm gonna talk about this constructively so you understand the realms of investing. There's a lot of people out there that became accidental millionaires through the likes of XRP, Litecoin, Bitcoin, Ethereum, etc, etc, when it was bought at the start. We are at that point with Pundi X. I'm just going to say it right now. This is not financial advice, but please do your research and understand what I'm trying to say with prices being low. Then you sell them high. Investors make money over a long period of time due to believing and doing a lot of research in a project and enabling that to succeed over patience and a bit of prior knowledge of what they are trying to do, obviously. So let's get into it. It's going to be a good one, this one. I want to go through FX token as well, so you understand what that is. I want to talk about elements of why you should be looking at this as an investment opportunity if you are not holding it and ultimately why you should be looking at payment solutions in the next three years to hold on to. See you in a sec. Right, so with that start, it's quite crucial that I get this video bang on, isn't it? So let's talk about Pundi X properly. I did a previous video about Pundi X. It's doing very, very well. And I want to emphasize that that is a very good video. However, I didn't talk about something in this in that video that I'm going to talk about in this video. So stay around for that FX token. You need to understand elements of why it's different to the, this token here, okay? I get asked a lot of questions about it, so I best cover it, shouldn't I? <laughs> Oops. Now, let's go on to Pundi X. Now, if you're new to this channel, I'm a fan of Pundi X, but I don't hold a lot of it because it's it's one of the risky bags. When you're coming out of a bear market, going into a bullish market, you want to try and go with the ones that are more likely to succeed against the ones that are not. You put the profits from the more likely ones, for example, Ethereum, Bitcoin, XRP, EOS, Litecoin, into projects like this. You put your profits into these to grow multiples. That's how it works. That's how the wealth game works with cryptocurrency. However, if you've got some loose change and you've done your research and you are confident, always diversify, put them around places, okay? And Pundi X is one of the ones that is always on my radar and always has been. I hold some, but not a huge amount, not an amount that's gonna change my life tomorrow, but maybe in the next five to 10 years, it could be quite significant. But again, we're gonna get into that in more detail. So what is Pundi X? Now they've just released open platform. This allows anyone to use their ecosystem within wherever the hell they want through the XPOS, which I want to get onto in a minute, which is brilliant. This supports online and offline payment and customer, cust uh, mm, custom tokens. There we go, I'll start again. <laughs> so anyone can use it, which is brilliant. So if you've got a token or whatever, it's amazing. So use digital currency anywhere, anytime. Anytime, anywhere. There we go. I read it right this time. So it's a fantastic opportunity where it provides borderless payment solution as an ecosystem beyond fiat. So, for example, if you are unsure of how this actually genuinely works, let me get an image of it. That's it. It's like a little POS that you get. You can get them in stores anyways in terms of real life in fiat, okay? As I mentioned this, you can, if you are a small term, a small time, sorry, shop owner, you can get a fiat equivalent of this, you can buy them. PayPal do them, um, Shopify do them, but this is for cryptocurrency. This is for genuine usage for our world, the decentralized world. So it is an whole ecosystem where you use XPOS, XWallet and XPass, where it will use the X N P X <laughs> the Bundy X token. I won't even say the abbreviation because it's such a long one. It's a pain. Um, but ultimately, it has a very good usage. And there's a difference between this token and the FX token, which I'm going to go through in a second. But what I need to get across to you guys is payment solutions in the next three to five years is going to be the main wave of adoption. People have to use it. People have to be genuinely thinking, I have a cryptocurrency on my phone. I can then go into a shop and buy a bottle of water like that. 
okay? That's the that's the common goal. That's what we all want now. We don't care about future speculation. We don't care about all the, the niff naff of just sending it a bit faster. We want to actually physically use it. This is going to cause one of the biggest pain solutions and medicines for this whole industry. Using it. Average Joe using this, okay? That is what we want. So, how it works is very simple. This little POS system, it accepts digital currency, it makes it easier for the shop owner, it makes it easier for the customer, and it supports every other type of token that you may want it to do. Brilliant, it's also hardware, so it's even better. It's physical, it's amazing, and it's not a little QR code that's on the back of a till that looks a bit soggy because it's got a bit wet one day. You know, this is really, really good. Now, the roadmap is still way undervalued in my proposition value of a product it's still got a lot to do that means speculation will grow hype will grow and developments will cause price pumps we're going to get onto that in a minute we are in an incredible time in terms of investment it is stupidly low in price it has a very high supply and total supply but i'm going to get onto that in a minute that always puts me off however it only puts me off when we're going through a parabolic stage the old coins have not pumped yet if you look at past data you would have seen this no you won't apologies let's go to the chart <laughs> you would have seen this pundi x has been a lot higher a lot higher we've never had a bull cycle appearance for pundi x big factor when you consider investing in a coin these this coin is alive it is well it is kicking it's developing it is still growing and it's never seen a parabolic bull run that is a big factor and it's making me getting my balls itchy again which is not good i want to buy more now let's look at a few things that i did not cover in the last video okay fx token is a different one they are both different tokens but they all work in the same kind of way they both have utility just for different things so fx operation of the ecosystem and broader use of beyond payment transactions such as smart contract fees i pfs sort of whatever that is um docker hosting node services voting decentralized rights marketplaces gaming so it's it's done differently this also has a fixed supply and it will gradually increase so that is a kind of a negative, really, where the circulating supply gradually increases, right? However, the Pundi X token is different. It's for the payment network only, including advertising on the XPOS receipts, which is quite cool. Loyalty points, bonuses, rewards, purchasing XPOS and XPass cards, which you can do that on the, on the Android app or the uh, iOS app. Fees and all that kind of good stuff. Fees are the big thing. Utility. More people that use it, the fees have to be used. They will be getting used in such a way as a utility. Like the Binance token. Think of Binance, how their token model works. More users that use it, more people use a BNB token to buy into IO, IOE, I, IEOs even. It helps, okay? So after Mainnet is launched, this will play a significant role in the ecosystem. The Mainnet has already launched, by the way. And the total supply decreases over time. That is a big factor for inflation and scarcity. So there you go, that's the difference. Which one should you hold? If you hold this and you go into the X wallet, you can stake this up until, what, five, six months? I can't remember how long for. I can't remember, it might be 90 days actually. I might be totally wrong, so please check up on that. I think it is 90 days. You can stake this, so you get freebies, okay? And the FX token, value-wise, let's have a little look. Function X. It is worth 80 cents. It's totally different, guys. Totally different. So it's getting mined at the minute. I've got five of those bad boys. Woohoo! From my staking. Okay, so free staking, get involved, a little bit of passive income for 90 days at least. Now, I want to bring on to this as well, just quickly. This is a really good article that was posted four months ago. And there's something on this where it's bang on. I certainly believe that this guy's got it nailed on the head. So I'm gonna leave this article in the links below. But ultimately, it talks about the circulating supply and how it becomes more valuable with the PundiX token over time due to the fact of the usage of the token, what I mentioned before, with it coming down. That coming down increases its scarcity, a value proposition, whereas the FX token, it works in the same way, it's got a utility, but that supply will increase. So in terms of company assets, and the use of the company is an eco, eco, ecosystem model that is financially viable, the Pundi X token will be better, okay? Because that supply comes down, more people that would potentially use it around the world, 
is going to be a very good factor. So let's go to the nitty gritty. How many do you actually need to put a dent in the grass? So I've got three modest targets there. One cent, five cents and ten cents. I'm not going to, I'm not going to take the mick and go, oh, it's going to go to a dollar, guys. I put a video saying it could go to six cents. Some people think I was very, very overcautious with that, which is fair enough. I didn't want to look like a dick, but I've increased it on this one, and I've also added some extra amounts, okay? I've seen it in the past. You could go back into to the realms of cryptocurrency, and you can go, right, in 2012, if I bought X, I would have made this. Yeah, obvious. We could be on that next cycle now with tokens like this. Some old coins, which most people don't like old coins, I know, but ones with genuine real use case that I've got a genuine purpose and I'm going to get used, i.e. payment solutions is probably one of the biggest ones, or Internet of Things for logistics, etc. Uh, I've got a good token model. will do well in valuation and price in relation to the company going up in value. That's what you want. That's the coins you want to look for, and this is one of them. So... Let's look at number one. I cheated. <laughs> um, we'll go orange. Boom. If you invested $1,000, which would be that today, that is the kind of price projections you could expect if they reach those capitalizations. This is a capitalizations, by the way, approximately, based on the current circulating supply. That circulating supply will vary okay it'll either go up or down depending on the usage of the tokens and the burn supply all that good stuff now that is for a thousand dollars i've got just under a thousand dollars in not a massive amount but ultimately if this takes off to the moon and we get a fomo cycle it goes for 30 40 cents which could potentially happen it's going to change my life anyways i'm already up in profit when when i bought so i'm quite happy a long-term hold over time but i am looking to add to my position you always add to your winners you do not Add to your losers essentially unless you are really in a bad state of play now let's have a look at number two if you invested five thousand dollars now five thousand dollars is a modest investment if you have been in cryptocurrency for a while you may have some cryptocurrency laying around that you are open to invest for me that is the kind of wedge i chuck around quite often i did that with quite a few coins and you get returns i am looking to put profits into pundi x over time as it grows in price if the FOMO and the parabolic bull run happens with altcoins again, I could see Pundi X really taking off with the rest of the market and doing very well. It's never seen a bull run. It's also a very low price. And a lot of people will just go on coin market cap and they'll go, do, 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 do. oh, that's cheap, I'll just buy that. That usually happens, okay? In ineducated investors, they do that. They pump up prices. So that will be $5,000. You can see what's going to happen here. It's going to be quite interesting to read. So for me, as an investor, I want at least $1 million. Just one million would be happy in terms of how many I've got, but I will probably add a lot more to that as things progress, as my trading increases, as my income increases, all that good stuff. I'll probably go, yeah, okay, boom, off we go. You know, I like risk and reward. I've been in the, I was in the previous bull run in the previous bear market. I know how this market works. If you're new, honestly, I cannot describe to you what it feels like when you wake up and you've made four or five figures in a night's sleep. It's like what happens it's it's unbelievable i cannot describe it um it will happen again i can guarantee it the the old coins will pop and you'll wake up to 70 80 percent gains overnight and you'll be like ah! it happens it's it's unbelievable it happens quite a lot anyways now but not your whole portfolio anyways ten thousand getting a bit more various now in terms of or not various aggressive in terms of investing but over a period of time What's to say that your overall investment capitalization is that if you've got a couple of Bitcoin laying around? You know, it doesn't sound like a lot if you've been in the industry for a while. If you've been accumulating for a while and then they've obviously all popped, you move your money around. What do you get? If you get 9 million tokens, wow. It is quite a decent wedge even at 1 cent, which isn't too far away when you think about it. It's only 9x away. So, you know, things could happen with this industry. And I've seen it, I've seen it, I've seen it all before. So it's quite scary when you think about these numbers. And this, again, I know what's going to happen. I'm going to get comments saying, this is quite modest. Yeah, but if you put a dollar on there and it's 210 billion <laughs> market cap, it's like, oh my God, that's quite a lot. But ultimately, 18 million if you invest 20,000, but also if you invested a lot, like it hasn't been much lower than where we are now. It's been, what, four or five sets lower. It's quite a lot, really, realistically. It's about 
60% lower. But, you know, because they're so small in SAT's value, it's going to be a big move. So, there you go. Your first million. If you put 20,000 in and it goes to 10 cents or even 5 cents, you're close to a million in dollars. Scary. And the last one, what would you think it is? Boom, 40,000. So, there you go. That is kind of what you're looking at. But, I still think these are very modest. I just do not want to look like a dick. I'll be honest with you, I don't. I don't want to look like people like Supo will be like, oh, it goes to $5, guys, he's got to do it. No, it's not. But ultimately, 21 billion circulating supply. If we have a parabolic bull cycle and the whole market capitalization of the market goes over 1 trillion, I cannot see it being too far away from that and it being one of the bigger coins that's going to do a bit of speculation value hype you got to get in on the hype and you got to get out when it starts to die off. It's simple trading 101. So when you start seeing things move, you've got to go for it. Now, I want to cover one little thing now. And again, I'm going to go back on this. I'm going to go back in time. If you go into tools, if you go onto historical time shots, right, and you've never been in this industry and you want to believe what it's like, just look at January 2018. Where is it? There it is. So actually, no, we'll go the 31st of December, 2017. Just have a look at the state of the market. These prices were there. This isn't even the, the peak. This is where the market has been. You look at these prices and you look at it now, it's like, oh my God. Seven days, 125X on XRP. Cardano did well, 66. This is the time where people made a severe amount of money and the week after that, it went a little bit sideways. Now, if I go to the next week, it went up again with the altcoins because the altcoin rally was in force. Again, you could, even more. It happens. Ethereum, 1,100. XRP, $3.38. This is where money goes like that. It just goes bang. What? And people, I did. I lost a lot of money during this because I didn't sell at the top. I was like, oh, where's it going to go? You just don't. You just, Honestly, when you're at that point, you just do not know how to react. I ultimately sold a bit late, but, you know, you do make a lot of money. And you just start to see things will change. Look at this then. Whoa, hello. Profit to took. Bang. Off it goes. Look at that XRP. From the one week to that week, half it. Pretty much scary. So remember to take profit so i hope you like this video i know it's a long one obviously if you like my stuff hit that like button hit that subscribe button hit that comment button and put a comment support me on um patreon all that good stuff but ultimately i'm not trying to get people excited but we're in 2019 in 2025 and you are sitting there thinking i wish i put a bit more on cryptocurrency i wish i sold and got my profits i wish I wasn't an idiot and invested in crappy projects. Don't be that guy. See you in a bit.